Hi, this video is to show you how to use regression analysis in Excel um, to estimate male-female wage differences uh, or racially based wage differences. So here's my website. You're going to want to click on the how to and this video will be right here but we want to grab the lab spreadsheet, the regression lab spreadsheet because that's what you're working on. So let's open that up get it ready to edit. Okay, you're going to want to save this in a place where you can access it later, but what does the spreadsheet have is data on a thousand fully employed workers from ages 25 to 40. I have three spreadsheets here. It's of the same thousand workers. The only difference is in each one column A is different. Column A contains the outcome variable. Okay, the outcome variable, the left-hand side variable, the dependent variable, which we've talked about. The first outcome that we're looking at is hourly wages. So in a, column A has the hourly, hourly wages of all 1,000 workers. For example, person one makes 47.50 a year, and this is their, the rest of their characteristics. Okay, red. Reg 2 uh, has a different outcome variable. It's actually very similar. It's the log of the hourly wages. Okay, um, look back at the lecture notes to to uh, to to see what the why we do that. Why we do one with just the hourly wage. Why we do this one with the log of hourly wage. And then the third one is the dependent variable is not wage. The outcome is not wage. We're also interested in is that what's the likelihood, what's the probability that somebody can become a manager. And so this outcome variable is the dummy variables. One if they're managers, zero if they're not. Okay, so in each of these, column A is your dependent variables, the outcome that we're looking at. Now what's the rest of the data? Well the rest of the data is columns B through N here. Okay, this is the same for all three pages. These are the characteristics of people, of these workers that we want to see how it changes their wage. What characteristics are involved with uh, getting a higher wage. Okay, um, We'll talk about being female or black in a moment. That's what we're testing for. But you would assume people who have, say, a bachelor's degree instead of some college or greater than a bachelor's degree, they should make more. People who are older, they should make more. They have more experience. Married, having children, we don't know. That could go either way. If you have a, another worker in your house, maybe you take a, a lower paying job. If you have disability, we've talked about in the past um, some, some of the uh, research that's been done related to disability and work. These are all possible factors that could lead to a different outcome, which is having a lower wage. What we want to do here is the regression, though. So what you do first is you have to make sure that your analysis tool pack is installed. You do this under File Options and Add-ins. Okay, our analysis tool pack is under Add-ins here. Okay, we're going to click Go and it's not selected so we can't run a regression. We want to select that and hit OK. And since that's ready to go, we're going to go to data. So what we're going to do is run three regressions. I'm going to show you how to do it and then show you what the output means. Data, data analysis here. Scroll down here to regression and hit OK. The Y range is referring to what is your left-hand side variable, what is your outcome. The outcome that we're looking at first is hourly wage. So I'm going to click that, click on hourly wage, and the shortcut is to hit control shift down. Oops. I'm running on a Mac here. Okay. So what did that select? It selected all all the data in column A, A1 through A1001. Why I only have a thousand workers? Well, you have the heading too, the column heading. So there's a thousand and one uh, uh, cells selected. So that's my Y range. Okay, I'm going to click over here that I selected the data and the labels. All right. Now the X range 
is here. It's all the rest of the data. It's actually whatever you want to regress. What characteristics are we looking at? Well, I'm just going to do all the characteristics. So I want to see what each of these characteristics, how they affect hourly wage. So I'm going to hit Control Shift and then go right. And so what that did was it selected B through N. So all these characteristics, the headings. Now I'm going to hit Control Shift and down. And that selected B through N and all the data, 1 through 1001. So what have I selected? For the left-hand side, I selected A1 through 1001. That's all the hourly wages. The X range is B1 uh, through N1001. That's everybody's data, their gender, their race, their education, everything else. Okay. All we have to select here is that we want this to go into a new worksheet plot. So this is our first regression. Let's call this Reg1 Output. Okay. We don't have to deal with anything else now for what you're doing in the class. Let's just deal with this. Okay, so this is the summary output. There's a few things that we want to look at here. Okay, we're interested in the female and the black coefficient. Okay, the coefficient for a person who is female uh, as opposed to male, the coefficient for someone who is black as opposed to white. This coefficient is what's important. And of course, the computer is locking up. Not responding, dreaded, dreaded. That happens sometimes, but we will get through it. All right, it's back online. Let's highlight these. Okay, what does this coefficient mean? Well, remember, the output was for hourly wage. This negative coefficient, negative 568, 569, means that if you're a female, you're making $5.69 less than males. Okay? For if you're a female in this if this group of a thousand workers, on average, you're making $5.69 less than men per hour. So that's going to have a dollar sign. Okay? That's a dollar sign there. $5.69 per hour less. If you're black, as opposed to white, you're making $3.42 less. All of these are dollar signs. That's what these, how you interpret these coefficients for regression on hourly wages. That's the first thing we want to look at. The other thing I want you to look at is over here. These pieces right here. Right here. Let's put those in blue. Okay. This is the confidence intervals. All right. So if I want to look at female, okay, females on average they make 569 less than males. But I also want to look at these, the confidence interval as well. Okay, the confidence interval is showing that you know you run a regression and you're actually the correct answer. The you know of the wage gap isn't a specific number. It's actually a range. Okay, we're only looking at a thousand people. If we took different samples, we'd get different answers. So you want to focus on what the confidence interval says. Okay, 95% of the time, if we looked at 100 other dot data sets, 95 of those data sets, our answer would be somewhere that women are making between 750 less, 750, this is dollar sign as well, and making, they're making somewhere between 755 less than men and 383. 95% of the time and 95% of samples we look at, women are going to make between this and this much less than men. What is that saying? That we're pretty confident that women make less than men do. Okay? If this was minus 70, 55 and plus five dollars, we wouldn't know what to say. Sometimes women would be making less, sometimes they'd be making more. But what we can say in this one, they're making less than men, somewhere between seven and seven fifty-five and three dollars. Okay? The same can be true said for uh, black versus white, although it's closer to zero. Let's look at one that's not, that we can't say so much about. Let's look at this one. Okay, what about having children 
under under 17. Okay, someone who has children under 17, on average, they're going to make 15 cents less than an hour. Okay, 15 cents less. That range, however, ranges from anywhere between that confidence interval ranges anywhere between two dollars and twenty-seven cents less an hour. Okay, someone with with a child under 17 versus not having a child. Someone with a child may make two twenty-seven less, or they may make a dollar ninety-seven more. So I ask you, in this data, does having children help or hinder your earnings? Well, we don't know. We can't say anything with confidence about this estimate. This negative 15, we can't say anything with confidence. It's not statistically significant. When it hovers around zero, it's not statistically significant. It's not different from zero. Here, for females, it's clearly less than zero. We have something that's clearly less than zero here. Okay? So that's how you run a regression. That's how you interpret uh, these coefficients. That's how you tell if it's statistically significant. I'll leave it to you to try these other regressions, and good luck.